Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. First off, I don't want my last two messages get construed to think that I hate cops <coughs> and that all cops should be killed. No. Justice needs to be served on police officers who, who really, in my opinion, were not mentally, mentally capable of being a police officer. Because if you cannot tell a citizen, if you cannot communicate to a citizen of the United States of America, who really has a power and the authority, and gives that power authority to you, who are trained to uh, in law enforcement to serve and protect. Because see, who is a who is authority? That's the question. Who is authority in the United States of America? Is it is it the police? Law enforcement? Are they the sole authority of, in the United States of America? Is the president sole authority? Is, uh, you know, the, the, the Congress and, and, and uh, you know, the House and the Senate and everybody who uh, run for office, senators and, and representatives, both in the federal and, and the state? Are they so authority? Are judges so authority? No. We the people of the United States of America. We are the authority. The, we are the government. The problem is we forget that we're the government because we have been dumbed down to think that they're the government, and we're the subjects. No, we're not the subjects. We are the government. Otherwise, why do we vote? If we're not the government, why do we vote? We vote because we're the government. We have the right to vote. We have the right to vote for people who represent us. See, the problem is those who represent us treat us like we're subjects to them. And, and the mayor is the chief law enforcement officer of every city and village. And he hires a police chief. And then that police chief hires police officers. That and and then we appoint, you know, the mayor. We appoint the council. We appoint the, you know, all these leaders over uh, our representatives. They're not leaders. They're representatives. That's why the House of Representatives. They're representatives. A mayor is a representative. A council is a representative. But they, they, they have changed the definition from a representative to a leader. Well, you don't lead me. You represent me in office. And when they lose, the, then when they lose that mindset that they were rep that they're representatives and change that to a leader now now that uh, they're leading me like like uh, you know I I'm I'm dumb and I need to be led so I had to move something long story short I'm not dumb and I don't need to be led they are representatives they represent me and my authority given by the Constitution 
of the United States of America and the amendments under the Constitution in the United States of America. So let me get this straight. They represent us in, in, in the federal, the, the, the state, and, and in the cities. They hire law enforcement officers to serve and protect us. And, and, and I give them credit for that because I also took training. It was considered as a miniature police academy. What I have is equivalent to the police academy. And I am equivalent to a police officer. I'm, I don't have police powers where I can arrest somebody for a misdemeanor but I can and every citizen has the authority to arrest somebody for a felony. So you need to know the difference. Another thing I wanted to talk about real quick is there's a closed group site on Facebook my cat wants to get in the window and I'm trying to do my video here and she's being ornery long story short midnight hey behave yourself hang on sorry about that before I go here I wanted to mention real quick I want to talk about something here that's been also upsetting me there's a there's a, there's a man I'm not going to say who he is he created a Facebook site called Universal Life Church online and then there's a lot of people that think well that's the or, that's the original Universal Life Church it's not it's not the original Universal Life Church the Universal Life Church is the Universal Life Church headquarters, or also known as the Universal Life Church International in Modesto, Modesto California. That is the original church that uh, Reverend Hensley had started back in 1959. Not Universal Life Church Online. That was started by some an, uh, um, somebody who was ordained by the Universal Life Church headquarters and started an offshoot a branch of the Universal Life Church headquarters and there are a lot of offshoots a lot of branches on Facebook Universal Life Church Monastery and I have an email from the Universal Life Church headquarters in Modesto, California that says really that's, they have nothing to do with the Universal Life Church headquarters. There's a lot of people say, well, yeah, they do. They're, they're legal. Well, you know. Then there's the Universal Life Church Seminary. There's uh, this guy here who has a uh, Universal, Life, Universal Life Church um, Seminary, uh, I mean, out of Lima, excuse me. Uh, another Universal Life Church there in, in Tennessee. And so on, 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 so on. As you can see, there are many Universal Life Churches on and other churches that use in the universe like universal uh, or something like that equivalent uh, here's the original universal universal life church on uh, modesto california facebook site Because it says right there, there's an address and their phone number in Modesto, California. It says right there, the website right there is the Universal Life Church 
headquarters.com, not net.com, because they haven't uh, did anything to the site since 2010. But like I said, there are many offshoots, branches of the Universal Life Church. And of course, that's all there is right there. That's the end of. I mean, there's an atheist Universal Life Church. Where did I see that? Oh, uh, can't remember where I saw that. Oh, right there. They have like a badge. Oh, no, wait a minute. What does that say? A, A T H E N S. Athens? A Athens? I don't know. Let's see here. They're in Indiana. Athens Universal Life Church, okay. Sorry, I thought uh, said I thought it said atheists uh, at first glance. But it's actually Athens. But as you can see there are many offshoots of the original Universal Life Church, which is this one right here. And other uh, churches with the word universal or life. So, I'm just so, you know, frustrated when it comes to uh, These uh, people who are always saying that this is the original Universal Life Church. Universal Life Church Online is actually a closed group. It's a group. It's not really uh, a uh, Facebook site. And then I mentioned you know, in my comment, no, the Universal Life Church online is, an, is not the official Universal Life Church. All other Universal Life Churches are offshoots of the Universal Life Church headquarters located, you know, and I put the uh, address, the email address, and of course, this comes up right here. Well, I'm being ordered to get off of here right now because Renee wants some help with something. And, uh, anyhow. I just wanted to say real quick that we need to pray for our police officers and our nation. Because there's a lot of lawlessness and a lot of unrest going on. God bless you. Have a blessed day.